Once you've added bookmarks into your Scrivener project, you get different options available depending on what the bookmark is. These are found by highlighting an item in the window and looking at the list under the three dots. I'm just going to click on individual bookmarks so that we can see all the options. The first four items here allow you to view the bookmark item in a different form than the inspector. So the main editor, other editor meaning a split screen, the copy holder, which is another way to view documents, and the quick reference panel, yet another way to view documents. I have videos on these on the channel. Reveal in Binder highlights where the document is in the binder, useful perhaps for very long manuscripts. Rename document allows you to, as you would expect, rename an internal bookmark, and this will be reflected in the binder. Edit bookmark on a web link allows you to alter the link or title. There's also an option to copy a link so that you can paste it elsewhere. For external files, open file location doesn't open the actual file. It takes you to the folder where the document is located on your machine. Copy URL on one of these external files will give you the file address on your computer. And I think that's about it, apart from the delete option. But you can use the minus button for that. Next time, we'll be talking about snapshots.